gallows on the outside, and then they moved them on the inside. And the last two people to actually be hung to death in Canada were hung in that room in 1962. And when you get a chance to, all right? So take a fast look around, take some pictures, you have one minute, and then we're going to... and for facilities. So as we go by, we'll stop and look on the walls. People would write their names. And there was only one hangman in Canada. His name was Ellis, and he lived just outside of Toronto. And he would come in two days before, and he would meet the prisoner but the prisoner didn't know. have always been here since 1860. So back in the prison, when you take a look and see where the white stones are on the edge, yep. that's where the wall used to be. And the wall would run out to, you figure, roughly about here, down to where the tents are, and to the back of the wall again. And that was the yard. I said there were two doors, right? The one in and out, as well, where you see this door that has the little top on it. That would have been the entrance into the uh, to the yard. I don't know if any of you have heard that there was actually uh, bodies found in 2007 at the far end, where you can see that the astro the, the, the stuff is darker. Yeah. That's where they did the excavations. That's because the uh, the gallows for hanging in the beginning were actually about where the red tent are. So there were 40 three men that were hung by the neck until dead. The prison was not only for men, but it was for men, women, and children. 
and it was colonial law in the beginning, which meant there was no law. Whatever judge or magistrate that you faced, that's what you got. There was a 10-year-old boy that was hung by the neck till dead for stealing a loaf of bread. So law was very, very tough and very strong. Now, as I say, different uses all the time. We did hear that women at one time were on the fourth floor, and I did hear another time they were on the second floor. I have no understanding that there were actually any deaths or executions for women. All 34 were actually men. Now to tell you a little bit of the history of the area, if we go right...